The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. Hey, it's going to be a great show. It's always great when George Dyer comes by, but... HolidayInsights.com says this is Get Organized Week. So we're getting organized. Matter of fact, we are getting everything loaded up right after this program, heading down to Houston to bring some of the goods. Right, Marshall? We got at least one grocery cart full. You know, we're just do all doing our part and trying to help those. At, and Harvey, thank you. See, we're staying alive. Uh, uh. Uh, and we're getting organized. Come on, get organized with us. We're heading down to Florida in a few weeks, so you can still uh, bring some stuff for us to bring down to Florida if you're in this area. But until then, let's get our whole life organized, right? For the Lord. Woo. Roll it. It's the Kevin Shorey Show. Tape before a live studio audience at the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today, Kevin's special guest, George Dyer, and our employee of the month, April Cox. And now, he asks the question, if he plays the organ, is he organized? Here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Welcome to the Kevin Shore Show. Isn't it a great day to serve the Lord? Isn't it a great time to hear some songs from yeah. George Dyer? Without any further ado, George Dyer! the weight of the world when your heart's heavy I, I will lift it for you don't give up because you want to be heard if silence keeps you I, I will break it for you to be understood well I can hear you everybody wants to be loved don't give up because you It's just the hurt that you hide When you're lost inside I, I'll be there to find you Don't give up Because you want to burn bright If darkness keeps you I, I will shine to guide you Everybody wants to be understood Well, I can hear you Everybody wants to be loved Don't give 
George Dyer show there at the Americana Theater, and uh, he is there uh, in Branson uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Looks like Tuesdays uh, or Saturdays. I'm sorry, uh, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Am I getting this right? Thursdays at two o'clock and 7:30 shows on Wednesday and Saturday. You got it. I got it. And so that fits any schedule. You, when you're in Branson, you can see any show you want, but you got to see George Dyer. And you can't say it doesn't fit with your schedule because he's at all different times throughout the week. And so you can get to see George Dyer. We're talking the Michael Bublé, the Josh, Josh Groban, the Mario Lanza of Branson and so this is George Dyer thank you what a great song don't give up our, we are not giving up we are going forward we have so many great family of friends that are helping us every day at $34 a month that's a dollar for every year I've been in ministry we pick $34 a month and we want to let that be our foundation so that some of the things we won't have to do the commercials we we'll always have the products you can always get on kevinshory.com or call 844-47-KEVIN but um you know, we don't want to focus on the commercial times in our program. We want to just focus on ministry time. Uh, Mr. M, Galen Montgomery, and his wife Karen are just blessings to us as well. And this month, they have handcrafted. This is Mr. M's scroll saw workshop. And uh, Mr. M's wor scroll saw workshop, it's wonderful craftsmanship and creative woodworking that's done with a scroll saw. You have to come to the Branson Mill just to see it. You can actually take classes on how to do work with a scroll saw, You're just handing out the legacy because not many people use this for woodworking and they have designed for us and for our family of friends this wonderful heart made out of the wood and then uh, each one is hand painted and handmade by Miss Karen Montgomery herself. And so the, the uh, Mr. M's workshop is helping us to give this as a gift to our family of friends. It says, hug a child and uh, know the love of God for sure. So that is for all of our family and friends this month. You know, the properties of silver, we, we don't talk as much as we, we used to, but you know, this is made by God and this burns and cuts. And I, I have used this, I have seen so many people healed just by this structured silver gel. Then there's a liquid silver that people swear by. We have monthly, uh, monthly partners that get their silver, their three bottles every month because it we, it builds up your immune system. It fights bacteria, virus, mold. This is they put them in their CPAP machines. Uh, they uh, use it in you know in ventilators. They use it as a vaporizer. I mean, so many different things to bring healing. This is the liquid sacred. We call it sacred because somehow they've infused sacred music into it you know george dyer is going to sing a sacred hymn it's probably one of the songs that's in the silver and it just brings metals and flowers like music brings flowers alive it does it for metal too this is not me these are scientists that have told me this and uh, they have created this sacred structured silver so we have the silver this is the ball cap be looking for the president now you got to watch all the president's speeches if he's wearing a ball cap or anytime you see him in the news it could be this one because we sent one to the president last week and so we're seeing because he he has a love for israel as do we and so so this is, uh, you know, uh, Friends of Israel ball cap, and this has the Star of David mixed, uh, just blended with the cross of Calvary. And so that's it. Oh, stand up with our brothers. This is a hat. So it's things like that, or the Woundies, which is also a natural gel that you can get. Why don't you check out the uh, Woundies? Before we go to that commercial, though, I got a hero. Levi Summer is my hero. Uh, my good friend John Summer I've known for quite a few years, since the 80s. And so that's 80s. That's 30 years. Yeah, right? Wow, I can't believe the 80s was 30 years ago. Oh, Lord, what happened? Time goes by. But he has, you know, uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, was it yesterday, day before yesterday? But this past week was see you at the pole. And so all the students would go to the flagpole at their school and pray. And uh, John took his son Levi down to school and prayed with him an hour before school started. And then John said, do you want to stay and pray or you want, are you going to go into school? And he stayed an extra. And this picture you're looking at right now, this is Levi at his school. He was the only one in his fourth grade, the only one 
at his school that was there at the poll praying for our nation and praying for our churches and praying for our country. And I thought, there's my hero right there. That's Levi. He's nine years old in fourth grade. And that's Levi Summer. I wanted to show him. And uh, so thank you, Levi, for standing up for Jesus. And uh, that's just, that's really cool. Uh, we heard that 700 Club's going to do a whole thing about that too. And so we got it out before the 700 Club did. Anyway, we want to share the good news of Jesus today. And we'll be right back after this message about woundies. Roll it. What happened? I fell down and scraped my elbow. I ran into a thorn bush while I was hiking. I got mauled by 15 raccoons. Do, Do you, you have, have woundies? woundies? Never leave without it. Woundies, an all natural wound healing gel good for cuts, scrapes, and abrasions. Order yours today for only $25 or three for 60. Woundies, it can fix anything. Okay, you two are all set. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. What about me? You need to go to the hospital. Woundies. It can fix almost anything. And we're back. I was just taking a sip because every beverage tastes better in a Kevin Choi Show mug. <laughs> the commercials never end. Uh, but someday they will, when all of us get together. Would you welcome the man behind the picture, the man of La Mancha himself, George Dyer. <laughs> How, How you, doing, you doing, Kevin? Brother? Great to have you here. Uh, thank you for coming. You are you one of our regulars. We were counting up the people that are our regulars once a month, and you have, uh, I think, you and maybe the, the Branson News reporter are tied for as many appearances oh. on the Kevin Shorey as anybody else. And wow. So, yeah, you're up there. Thank you. My pleasure. Because you have a great show that I actually physically haven't been to yet. I've yes. seen video, and I yeah. hear you here. Yeah. But no, you're amazing. It's just wonderful songs because you have a, a variety. Tell If somebody yes. goes to a George Dyer show, what do they see when they go to the Americana Theater? Well, the name of the show is actually called From Broadway to Buble. All right. As Michael Buble. So that right off right gives off you an bat. idea of the wide variety that we do. Uh, we, we do everything uh, from great Broadway tunes, obviously. Uh, Music of the Night from Phantom of the Opera. Um, bring him home from Les Mis, other fun songs, wow. uh, yeah. and, and uh, but we also do songs by great singers like Josh Groban, Andrea Bocelli, Michael Bublé, of course. But we throw, have some fun in there. Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, um, my my wife Clarice, and my son Garrett are in the show with me, and and uh, so they add a lot of variety. We do uh, gospel. We do. Um, uh, we even do a little Disney this year. We put yeah. in a, a big Disney segment in the Let uh, me guess. in the summer show. Let yes. it go. Uh, <laughs> yes, Frozen. I don't sing that. Well, well, we do three songs from Frozen. Well, Just we like, did. It's the song of the Disney summer's now. over. It is. Well, Moana's kind of the hot thing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Moana and Beauty and the Beast. You know, the new Beauty and the Beast. Oh, you're right. I need some to catch of the up songs. On my Disney. Yeah. Yeah. So we do three songs from Beauty and the Beast, including that new one by Josh Groban. Um, mm. uh, well, that the Beast sings actually. Mm. I, 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 uh, but uh, we do three songs from uh, Moana. Um, yeah. How far out? Anyway, uh, but we we were gonna take out take it out after the summer was over. But the grandparents and the adults were like, going, no, leave it in." No. So yeah. we it's we did a balance because we had to take a lot of our Broadway out. So we brought those great other great Broadway hits back in and kept four of the uh, uh, Disney, Disney hits. Yeah. yeah. So and it gives them a good flavor. People love it, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. So and then uh, we do. Uh, it, it is. It's it's just a wide variety. We even do grand opera in the yeah. show because that's what I did before I came here to Branson. I, I was performing all over the world singing opera, and wow. uh, and so we do. You know, including the beautiful Nessun Dorma, which I've done on your show yes, before. Beautiful. And uh, it's always oh. a crowd pleaser. Every show I'll have people come up to me, and I love it when the 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 cowboys come up. I had a cowboy yeah. come up, and they just he just said, you know, I didn't. I didn't think I was going to like that part of your show, but you make it so accessible. We have these four big screens, and we put the translations up so people know what the songs are about, and and uh, so they 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 love it. They oh, go, I, you know, we recognize sure. the songs because they're not. all they're all recognizable. They're yeah. part of pop culture, and and now they know what they're about, and so they they really love it. Well, it's good family entertainment for everybody, mm -hmm. young and old. Yeah. I mean, that's that's just a perfect show, and you have that Thank that you. perfect show. And yeah, did you always? Uh, did you always sing opera? Did you? Was that your first goal, or no. how did you even get into? N no, I actually grew up in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Roanoke, Virginia. 
Okay. I like to tell people on, on fried chicken and Dr. Pepper. No, listen to I, that. I, I'm serious. That, that it's absolutely true. Me. Yeah. And, uh, and so when I, um, uh, moved to uh to utah uh when i was 22 i took my very first voice lesson and uh at 22 at 22 yeah you and never like sang in church or did i sang? Uh, no i sang a sang. lot i sang in church but not sang the in opera. school choirs yeah. and yeah but i'd never done anything you know and i'd never taken voice lessons because you know people think oh, you can sing you can sing but that's not that simple no you know no. and i and i knew that i had something more in there that i needed to develop and God had given me a gift and a talent, and, and it was incumbent upon me to develop and magnify that gift That's right. uh, for his purposes, whatever they may be. Mm -hmm. um, and so I took my first voice lesson, and my teacher looks at me, and she goes, what do you want to do with that voice? And I said, well, I really, I, I grew up in Virginia. I love country music. I want to be a country music singer. <laughs> I, I did. That's what I said. And all her face. That's just, I've yeah. Never and heard and you she do says, country. country? Yeah. No. She goes, you need to sing classical music. You know, opera and oratorio. Yeah. And I went, opera. As every voice teacher does. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, so I fought her tooth and nail for about six months until she <laughs> entered me in a vocal competition. Yeah. Without my permission. Just entered <laughs> me in, paid my entrance fee. I came to my voice lesson. She goes, George, I got good news for you. I've entered you in a voice competition. Oh, nice. And uh, I've already paid, so you have to do it. And you have to sing an operatic aria. And you I was like, what song? No. You, you didn't yeah, La Donna Immobile. It's the very oh. first aria I ever learned. Yeah. And it's in my show, actually. I do yeah. that in my show. Yeah, it's there a great, great song. A lot of fun. And um, Now, what I want to hear yes. is you sing a country song. Because if it was in your heart to do, can you still oh, pull out trust some Trust me, yeah. Can you give us a bar, a line or two of some one of your favorite country well, songs? Well, you know, I, I grew this up. This is almost freaking me out. I really love Glenn Campbell. So, actually, <gasps> last year. I love. I did Glenn a tribute Campbell's to Glenn hero. Campbell. Really? Uh, I love Wichita Lineman, one of Come my favorite on. songs growing up because I am a lineman for the county. Come on now, there you go. And I drive the main. He's more folksy my, though, my, my but I like to do. I'm gonna love you forever. Got to get a little lazy on, on there. Travis. Forever and ever, amen. Anyway. You are freaking me out, George Dyer. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, but y'all you, won't hear any of that in the, uh, no, in the show. But, no. Uh, as much as I still love it, I still yeah. love and listen to country music. I think music. Yeah. people. It I might do. be a little. You might want to. I don't know. Put yeah. that in the show. Like, well, you know, we, we did last year. And it was it was good. It was good with the Glenn Campbell. We did Glenn the Campbell, Wichita Lyman. Yeah, yeah, all that and uh, um, Galveston. Galveston. Oh, yeah. Galveston. Great. Yeah. Oh, See I what you missed by not songs. seeing the show last year. Oops. You missed that tribute. <laughs> You missed that tribute to Glenn Campbell. Thanks, thanks for throwing me under the bus on my own. I, show, I'm man. just telling you. I'm and just for George's final it. appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Awesome. And then this song that you sang, "Don't Give Up." Yes. That really, you can. I can tell the way you sing it mm -hmm. um, that it's coming from your heart. I mean, yes. that that it's more than just a song. And most of the songs you sing, you can see because you sing them with passion. But um, I want to encourage folks that may think that, you know, maybe God's through with them. Maybe because they didn't get to do the country thing they were going to do, mm -hmm. that maybe they're not supposed to sing. But you didn't. You took what, you know, what, what God really gave you yeah. and really excelled in that. I mean, is that really the message of this song and how you live your life? It is. You know, I've, I've always been very passionate about music. I've always felt it very spiritually. Yeah. Um, which is, I think is the most, the deepest way you can feel anything is on a spiritual level. And, uh, and so I knew that, like I said, I knew God had given me this, this talent and this desire, uh, uh but uh, uh, on top of the desire, cause a lot of people have the desire. He also gave me the talent yeah. and then he opened the way for me as I, as I showed him that I was willing to do the work and to uh, do my part to That's develop it. those gifts. Then he blessed me by opening doors for me and, yeah. and giving me opportunities. And, uh, and, and that's how I sing. I, I can't, and that's how I actually try and choose all the songs in my show. And there's yeah, so many great it. songs. I, I, I could it. sing my entire life <laughs> and not get through all the songs that I would love to sing there because there's so many great masterful songs out there in all different genres. Yeah. Um, some fun, some spiritual, some you know campy, some not so good. So I, I, I stay away from anything that, that's dark or demeaning. Thank you. Um, uh, the There's music of that in this world. There is. And, and my, uh, my, I think my musical mission is to lift others up and raise yeah. them up and uh, give them hope, give them strength, give them courage oh, uh, during the hard awesome. times. And, and so, and because you know what, to be honest with you, I think I get more myself 
um, when I sing and perform than, than others. And I yeah. think that's why I can give so much because I feel what I feel, and it's a very real thing, is we send that out spiritually. We yeah. send that out uh, and For people sure. feel it. Yeah. And, and, um, and then I get to feel their love coming back to me and, and their it. gratitude. And it's, and it's all, and it all comes from that one source Amen. of God. Oh, yeah. I totally understand. You yeah. know, even the, um, <clears throat> like the new CD, I, I, I don't make it so I can hear myself and mm -hmm. play it over for my wife. Cause she, you know, she hears me singing on the house all day long, <laughs> but like those songs, but, but one song on here, you kind of said it, all you hold your hands is what you've given away. And I feel like the more that we give of our talents, yeah. you know, that's totally it. Do you have one of these, by the way? I do not. Oh, well, here you Thank go. you. And, uh, but yeah, <laughs> no, you don't have to do all that. I'm just oh, I like, because the more you give away, the more you receive back. Yes. And uh, so I, I just encourage you, you know, from his testimony, it's not the time to give up. Go to the singing spot. You're going to sing the song of dedication to yes. the Lord. And uh, I think all your songs are just as unto the Lord, too. You know, whether they're, you know, the show tune or not, because they, they come from a passionate come from a heart that it tells a story some of these songs of indeed real yeah. you know even if they're even the disney songs you know the beast song was right you know ca calling from his heart so mm -hmm. thank you for that you and everybody he's going to the singing spot everybody go to the george dyer show you come to branson for sure you've got to see the show or if he if you find out he's on the road go go to his concert somewhere but uh, do that and dedicate, you know, if God gave you a word, if God spoke something into you, the Bible says that he will be faithful to complete it. He who began a good work with you will be there to complete it. So it's not the time for giving up. Maybe, you know, one door is shut, but maybe a window just opened. Go through it. You know, maybe a window was shut, but go through the door. Whatever God gives you, when, when life, and it will, gives you a lemon, you just make lemonade. But you give it over to God, as George has done, and, and myself, we give everything over to God and dedicate it to him. I know that God will turn everything the enemy means for evil for good. That's the word of God, and it's the word for you. Don't give up. Dedicate your life to the Lord. I'm going to talk to you just for another minute more at the end of this, but I want to hear again, ladies and gentlemen, here is the one and the only George Dyer. <laughs> I thy light may 
that I thy light may see. Make me as I should be. I'll follow thee. Would you make it your prayer today and say, uh, I will follow thee. I will go where you want me to go. Do what you want me to do. Surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I promise you that he's the answer that you're looking for. He's everything. He, we have found him to be all for our lives. I know you will do the same in yours. If you just say, Jesus, come into my heart. I may not know much about you or never been to a church, but, but there's something real that they're singing and talking about. I would like to try. Jesus, come into my heart and be real in my life. And if you do that, he will come in. The old things will pass away and all things become new. And all of a sudden you'll see the, the real life and that more abundantly that he talks about. And uh, so know him today. Dedicate yourself to him today and uh, follow him. And you that know him, continue to follow him. Don't give up. If there's a pothole or there's a detour, man, it's just God trying to get you right to where he needs you to go. You ever, you ever uh, put on your GPS? We're about to leave for Houston. You know, <laughs> you will have a GPS all the way down. But if you've ever gone off the wrong road, decide to get gas and it says rerouting or recalculating, recalculating. So sometimes we have to get that recalculating, but God will get you to the place he wants to be if you don't give up. You may have a detour, you may be on the wrong route, but if you listen to his voice and understand the spirit of God that lives in and dwells in you once you've accepted Jesus, trust him. It's not failure to fall, it's failure to not get back up again. So come on, let's all get back up again. Let's go forward, even if we're rerouted or God's recalculating in your life. Keep going forward. Forget the things which are behind and press towards the things ahead. And you'll see this wonderful life and the plan that God has for you. You'll know why we say what we say every day. Jesus is the answer for our world today. We'll see you next week. Promotional consideration paid for by Meyer Hotels. The world-famous Branson Mill at 3300 North Gretna Road, where art meets entertainment. Featuring the Corner Store Studio, friendly staff, hundreds of shops, demonstrations, crafts, snacks, classes, artwork, fun for all ages, the Treehouse Cafe. All under one roof at the world-famous Branson Mill, where art meets entertainment. The preceding program was brought to you by... Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends.